They're cleaning out the boats while the sun shines. These pensioners are the lucky ones. But changes in the law mean many more retirees could soon be in the same boat. Most pensioners would probably love the idea of spending their bank holiday Monday out here on the Thames sailing. But the majority couldn't afford a boat like this. That is up until now. Because new pension freedoms mean people who are about to retire can take their pension instead as a lump sum and spend it on whatever they like. Sarah Bennett helps run the South Bank Sailing Club on the Thames at Putney. This is definitely the life. She's been retired for two years and, like the majority of people, used her pension to buy an annuity to guarantee her a monthly income. Does the idea of pension freedoms excite you? Might you take a lump sum yourself next year when you can get your hands on it? I don't think I would. I think the A, the tax you're going to have to pay, B, fees to get out of the annuity. I think, I think it's going to come as quite a shock to people how much they're going to have to pay to get out of an annuity. So you think most people, will, once they see the fine print, will decide to keep their pension as is? I suspect they might. She's right to be cautious. Pension firms will penalise people for breaking their annuity. But for those who choose to, the first 25% of the drawdown is tax-free, while the rest is eligible for tax. But that doesn't deter everyone. This former landlady has amassed a massive £130,000 pension pot and has her shopping list ready. A couple of cruises, uh, a nice sports car, um, I have a car now at the moment, about 14 or 15. I'm going to get a really nice sports car. Have you decided which one? No. Maybe a Sharon horse as well, a racehorse. And have a good time, basically, before we're too late. But she did also raise a serious point that many will face, that some pension companies aren't yet set up for the change. But there's, there's a problem taken of that. We have a problem because there's no people there to man the... Uh, the you know the services or anything like that so it'll probably be, be about six months before we get it out and another criticism that the government has brought the changes in far too quickly with little guidance on choices and it transpired this week it can't even run its tv ad campaign because election rules mean it can't promote former government policies there is, of course, the risk that those who do spend it all at once may have to fall back on the state, as happened when similar changes were introduced in Australia. Quite frankly, I think the majority of people who've been responsible enough to save for many years and build up a pension fund are not going to just suddenly say, oh, I can get my hands on the money, I'm going to spend it all. It, it's, um, it, it's going to be tricky, so please be patient. And do as you're told. <laughs> Pension reform is notoriously tricky. The question is, will everyone be patient, get the right advice and do as they're told?